now, and thanks to Crown and Andrews, as always, I've never had a mermaid in the studio. I've never had a mermaid, full stop. I don't even think I could be a mermaid because I'd probably sink. But uh, someone that will never sink is the lady we've got in the studio today. Her name is Cara Walker. We're talking green and she's got a mermaid cat with her today. Over to you. Hello Australia and I'm here today to prove to you that dreams really can come true. In the studio we have a real life mermaid. Welcome to the couch mermaid cat. Hello Cara. <laughs> it's so amazing that we managed to get you all the way from the sea into the studio today. Now looking online you have such a public appearance. There are so many things that you can do. Can you please tell us a little bit about the life of a mermaid? Yeah well first of all to mention is a mermaid can't walk so it wasn't actually that easy to come here into the studio but luckily I managed to do so. Um, yeah, you, usually what I do when I'm not here talking to you, um, I swim in the world oceans, traveling around, swimming alongside beautiful sea creatures such as whale sharks, manta rays and even tiger sharks. Um, yeah, I was crazy enough to be the only person in the world so far who actually swam with white tiger sharks while wearing a mermaid tail. Wow, that is so beautiful. And you've managed to use all these amazing skills that you have to, um, you do underwater modelling and, um, and provide that service for companies around the world internationally. Yeah, that's true. Um, I've got a background in modeling. When I was younger, like a thousand years ago, I won this title of being Miss Germany International. And from there, I became a scuba instructor, later freediving instructor, and yeah, basically told myself on how to become an underwater model. And now I use this for worldwide underwater productions for TVs, movies, advertisement campaigns, all sort of stuff. It's beautiful and through all of your campaigns you've built a massive public profile and what I love about looking at all of all that you do, you use that profile to promote underwater ecology. Yes, absolutely. Um, I, am, I love the underwater world, I love all the creature, uh, creatures living in it, but unfortunately I also see in which big, big dangers the oceans are. It starts with polluting, um, overfishing, shark finning, all sorts of stuff and of course not everyone is a diver or a free diver or even a swimmer. Yeah. And um, yeah, by being a mermaid I have this wonderful possibility to bring the beauty of the underwater world out to the public, to the people, and also try to educate them about the problems of the ocean. Yeah, so you were telling me a bit before about you uh, recently were on a cruise ship for a Chinese company and you used that platform to promote um, stopping shark finning. Yes, I've got this contract and I'm uh, around six weeks every year on a beautiful cruise line ship um, traveling through Asia and most of the customers, the guests on board are actually Chinese people which cause yeah, the big global shark finning um, process because uh, there are around 100 million sharks that get killed every year for shark fin soup which is pretty popular um, for Chinese weddings and other big uh, events to eat and it's yeah really a great opportunity to be in front of thousands of Chinese people and actually talk about this topic. Yeah, beautiful. And also plastic in the ocean, one of my biggest hates. I love, I've seen these gorgeous pictures of you really sort of giving a visual aid of, of what it does to the sea animals, but in your beautiful form. So it's really accessible for families. Yes, absolutely. And there are like uh, millions of sea creatures um, dying every year because of pollution, especially plastic in the seas. And since a mermaid is still, after all, half human, um, yeah, you can use this um, mermaid personality basically to bring it across to the humans. Like what if uh, a mermaid is strangling up and killed by plastic, suddenly sure. it comes all much closer to the people. Yeah, great. Now, Mermaid Cat is an empire. You do many things. So you uh, run the Mermaid Academy, teaching people how to be a mermaid. Is that correct? Yes. In 2012, I was actually the first person in the world to open a mermaid school that mer mermaiding, mermaid swimming, um, yeah, available to the public and it's been absolutely viral. I taught mermaid workshops in so many different countries and now uh, I've got two bases. The main base of my mermaid school is in Germany where I've got four mermaid instructors teaching mermaid classes every weekend. Yeah. And now I have also have a second base here in Perth and I'm, I'm really so happy. happy to have you here. <laughs> Thanks <laughs> very wonderful. much. And you also have tails for sale as well. I've heard you're making tails for those inner mermaids who have, want to unleash their tail. Yeah, when I started teaching mermaid I found out that there was no good mermaid equipment available on the market and with the background of being a scuba and free diving instructor I decided we need to bring out professional equipment and now we, you can choose from 
kids' tears up to this fully professional silicone mermaid. You know what I'm getting Fred for Christmas, that's for sure. All right, so if we wanted to find more information, where can we head to find out about the amazing cat and maybe to hire your services or to get your professional uh, tales? Our mermaid cat is uh, available on social media, mainly on Facebook and Instagram, or just visit my website, mermaidcat.com. So much. So if you missed any of that information or you want to check out what an underwater model looks like, please head to the couch website as well, thecouch.com.au. You can hire Kat and her team for parties, for underwater photo shoots, to maybe teach your little one how to do some mermaid swimming or maybe you want to unleash your own tail. Thank you so much Kat for coming on the show today. It's been wonderful <laughs> to see you and I hope to see you splashing around the ocean this winter. Thank and you very much. back to you Fred. I'd like to be under the sea. Is that a good audition? I want to be a mermaid as well. Can you have a male mermaid, mermaid cat? Yes, there are um, men mermaids as well, sometimes in our classes and also by mermaid taste. But I would say it's around 90% there on the Beautiful. female side. And I do love seafood as well. I don't know if that conflicts as well. But we'll be back with another charity after the break, Lifeline. We're talking about uh, Known Associates, great charity event after the break. See you then.